Am I the asshole for telling my sister her son is only special to her? I, F26, have three older siblings. This is about my oldest sister, Abby, F37. Abby has a son, 5. Andy have a daughter, 1. Abby dealt with years of fertility issues and had probably 10 plus miscarriages. Then she had her son and of course, he was Abby's miracle rainbow baby. We were so happy for her. But then it leads to Abby spoiling her son and letting him get away with everything because he's a miracle and he's special. Everyone has always bit their tongue when it comes to her son because of that. On Saturday I had my daughter's first birthday party. It was mostly family and a few of my close friends were invited I invited Abby and her son because everyone else in our family was invited so I felt bad excluding her. We had different activities for the kids to do. Abby's son didn't like any of them. He was upset none of the presents were for him. He didn't want to eat any of the food Wei had. He then decided to try and push the cake off the table because apparently, he was mad the cake wasn't his. I got super upset at Abby Forrell lowing her son to act that way. She went on to say her son is special. I said her son is only special to her which is understandable. But to everyone else, he's a spoiled brat which shouldn't be overlooked because he was your special miracle baby. Abby called me a bitch and left crying. A few family members have since called me an ah because I've never dealt with a miscarriage so I don't understand how painful it was for Abby to deal with years of that before her son. It's not that I don't realize her son is special to her but it doesn't give the excuse for Abby to allow him to act like a spoiled brat. Am I the asshole for telling my wife I don't care about her dreams? My wife wants to be an influencer on TikTok and YouTube. She has been creating mommy content and content about her day-to-day -day life. When she told me this is something she wanted to do I didn't have a problem with I only said that I don't want our children, 4 meters, 2 f, in any of her content. I didn't monitor her channel because it didn't really seem necessary. I recently watched her channel because I thought it'd be cute so see what she does in her day-to-day -day life. I found our children faces in almost all of her content. I told her straight up she needs to remove all off her content, she said that she knew I wouldn't agree but she doesn't think this is a big deal. I don't like children content. I feel like a lot of the time when you see that children make profit they become less of your kids and more of a productive your interactions become more performative Andy can see the same thing has happened in her because she posted a video of her getting our two wild out of a tantrum and how she deals with it Butho is your first instinct to record and hold a camera whilst our baby is crying. She started crying saying that she built this up and this is her dream and deleting her content will ruin it and I said I simply don't give a fuck, if you don't delete it I will consider a divorce. I know a lot of people have children on their social media and I don't mind an Instagram or Facebook post but to make videos seem to intimate to share that she told her friends and even hinted on her social media accounts that she has an over-controlling and narcissistic husband that doesn't want her on social media and currently being ridiculed by her friends. Am I being over-controlling or narcissistic? Edit. Someone asked what kind of content. The content isn't really harmful just her feeding them on playing with them but the two types of videos I have problems with is her recording our children. Tantrums and our two years old still doesn't like clothes. We are trying to get her to wear them more but our house can be hot so she is in diaper a lot. I don't like the videos of our daughter in her diapers. Am I the asshole for refusing to shave my hair for a client who's a cancer patient? I, 21 am, currently own a barbershop and have found myself in a very weird situation. I was scheduled an appointment by a father of a cancer patient who is currently undergoing chemotherapy and feeling very saddened by the situation. I decided to refuse any payment and give the girl her haircut for free however that's not the problem. Once they arrived, I reculently helped the father. Pull the daughter out of the wheelchair and onto the chair but then I had seen him go outside to his car only to arrive with camera equipment. I asked why he was doing this and he leaned into my ear and whispered how he's gonna record this for his daughter and tell me about how I'll shave my hair for the video so they can publish it on their Instagram page. I refused and calmly explained how I wasn't informed about this during the scheduling and thought he wasn't gonna shave off my hair just for some stupid video. The father then visibly got angry towards me, for some reason, and yelled at me explaining how I don't get it and how much work he went through to even go to my barbershop and schedule an appointment. He called me a rich piece of shit that feeds off of the poor and constantly degraded me throughout for no reason. I told him to get out and take his daughter out of here because he's been kicked out. I explained how we don't tolerate disrespect in which he left whilst looking at me with a disgusted facial expression as if I did anything wrong. So, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for laughing at my housemate when he suggested I not shower on my period? I, 31F, live in a share house. One of the housemates Jack, M30, has never lived with a woman outside of his mother but likes to say that he is aware of women's issues and calls himself a feminist. For instance he doesn't agree with the saying, no uterus no opinion, because it's my job to be informed about any issues that could affect me if I become a father or husband, which is fine until it came to this issue. So, like most biological women, I have periods. I however, cannot use tampons or cups due to a condition called vaginismus. It's pads all the time for me, yay. 
I also, I know, the shock, shower during this time. Wow! I prepare a new pad onto a clean pair of undies, shower as normal, dry myself off in the shower, and then step straight into the undies. And obviously check the bathroom for mess. Jax never complained, nor has anyone else, so I figured my system was working. Q today, and I can't shower for 48 hours due to a heart monitor test. I was jokingly complaining about how I was going to survive without my nightly shower and Jack looked up confused and said, how is this any different to when you're on your period? I asked him what he meant and he said, well, you can't shower on your period unless you use a tampon, and I laughed because I thought he was joking, he has shown before that he was at least semi-educated on women, which he got angry at. Jack said, wait, well what do you do, and I said, slowly, I shower, I wasn't getting it I'm afraid. Jack said, without protecting my bathroom, he does not own the house, and then went off, apparently my period is unhygienic, it can cause infection if left on the shower floor, and he was under the impression I hadn't been showering for a week when I had my period or using tampons. I said that due to reasons I can't use tampons and he told me then I'm banned from showering when I'm on my period which I laughed again at which I did apologize for and say, I'm sorry for laughing, but the audacity of that statement. I told Jack he has no way of enforcing this, nor would I be sticking to this, and he said, fine, then every time you shower, you need to bleach the bathroom afterwards, to which I couldn't help but laugh again, apologizing, but saying, we're in a share house. That's not reasonable when other people need to shower, use the toilet, and considering I'm sure at least somebody else pees in the shower, is ridiculous to only enforce on me. I brought that up and he said, nobody does that I've never heard of that in my life. So I just had to walk away. Jack's been complaining to other housemates about this and saying that we need to watch out for me, and we all just think he's absurd for banning me but a couple think that I should just at least try and compromise so I'm confused. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for telling my parents and brother that if they wanted his ex removed from my wedding pictures they had to pay for it? My brother goes through women like I go through socks. I gave him a plus one for my wedding two years ago, he brought his girlfriend at that time. When we were doing the family pictures he wanted his girlfriend in the pictures. I said we could disown with her and some without. He got mad that I allowed my sister to have her fiancé in all the pictures and my other brother was allowed to have his boyfriend of 5 years but that I had the audacity to exclude his girlfriend of the week. My parents said that they didn't want any fighting and to just include her. They were paying for everything so I said fine. She isn't in all our pictures. Just the ones with our family and both families. Now my brother is engaged and we had the family over last weekend. His fiancé saw our wedding picture on the wall and got into a fight with my brother. He never told her that he had been in a serious relationship with her nemesis. He tried explaining that they only dated a very short while duh, she called bullshit because she was included in the family picture. She asked to see our wedding album. Sure enough the girl was in multiple pictures with the family and the in-laws. My brother finally carred her down but has asked Mato take down the picture or have his ex removed. I said that it was expensive so he would have to pay for it. He tried complaining to our parents. They said that I was being childish. I reminded them that they were the ones who insisted I give in to him. I said that they were welcome to pay for the editing. They said I was a jerk and that they already paid for the pictures once. Am I the asshole pretending another girl was my girlfriend? I, 25M, was out with my girlfriend, 25F, and some other friends. We were drinking and having a good time. I smoke, trying to quit, and went outside alone for a smoke. I was standing in front of the bar kind of a short walk away. I don't like standing right in front of the door because the smoke gets into the bar or establishment, and hash x 200b. This frantic looking woman is walking at normal pace and there is a guy a couple of feet behind her. She walks to me and says, hey, baby, I'm glad you're waiting where you said you would. I was confused at first but I quickly understood the situation. This guy was weird and on the way up he was muttering weird things like, just give me your number, you're so pretty, I just want to talk to you, etc. When I told someone else this story I was sauced why I didn't react when I saw her walking and heard that. And the answer is it all happened very fast and I had been drinking, and hash x 200b, once I put it together I said, hey, honey, been waiting for you, and she put her arm around me and it took longer than I would have liked for the guy, to leave. I was being gentle saying, alright, goodbye buddy, and, we've gotta get back home. Eventually the guy left but not because she wanted him to leave, because I kept insisting. Nothing bad happened at all. My girlfriend had been watching from the window and must have only caught the end part of it and saw the other girl with her arm around me. And hash x 200b, my girlfriend is not the type to cause a public scene. She'll wait until a private time to air her grievances. 
The girl had no money for an Uber and W as planning on walking home but felt too nervous. SOI arranged for an Uber to pick her up and waited outside with her until the car came. And hash X 200B. Jumping ahead to when I was home with my girlfriend. She asked me, what was that all about? And wanted to know why her arm was around me and why I stayed after the creep left. She put together that the guy was being weird but she said it shouldn't have let her put her arm around me. Event how after the guy left she removed it. None of my explanations were working so I just turned it to her and said, what would you have wanted me to do? And, if you were here, what would you have wanted the guy to do? She just couldn't answer and said to, stop flipping it. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay for the whole bill, seven people? Six people, not seven. It has been a very dramatic couple of weeks, I am currently on holiday in my country of birth. I suggested an old friend of mine join me to get dinner. He asked me whether he could bring three women and a man he is cool with, which I agreed to. I also suggested we go to the place I rented after dinner as it was pretty nice. I suggested the restaurant, and everyone was fine with the location. We got there and everyone started ordering and ordering, cocktails, lobster, sushi. Everything was fine, we were having a law. The bill came. It was 770 euros. I told my friend we should all split evenly, he was cool with it, and the other guy said he was kinda broke right now, and could only spend 25 euros despite eating close to 100 euros worth of food or more. I knew things were about to go south. Two of the women were on their phones silent and disengaged, and the other woman had the audacity to penly and confidently suggest I be a gentleman and cover the bill as, you are clearly doing better. I asked her why she'd assume that and she said. That's what it seems like on IG. Mind you, all I have on my IG are pics of holidays and business related stuff. No fast cars or any of that. I told them that I didn't know them and that this was not a date. She said that they didn't expect Tahavi to pay. My friend said he isn't dating them either, he met them all at work. I was getting upset at the entitlement and asked my friend whether he told them anything pointing towards me paying, he said he didn't and that each of them always pays for their own things. I suggested he deal with them as he invited the mover. It became a back and forth with the three of them off, too expensive, and, not fair. It was fair, when they were ordering like they had a money fountain clearly, but not when it was time to pay, I got fed up and said that I was not even going to split it evenly anymore and just cover my spend, 52 euros, and that I was going home on my own, which seemed to offend them even more than splitting the bill. I stood up, went to the counter told the waiter. What I consumed and that each would pay for their own stuff, paid and went back to the table. Apparently, aside from my friend, none of them had enough for the bill, or so they said. I felt a little bad as they were trying to figure out how to pay, but I ultimately didn't and instead, I ended up being petty and giving a big tip to the waiter in front of them. Had they not been entitled about it and said it before agreeing to come, I would have at least considered it. But not like this. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay for the whole bill?